First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Arukakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great most of honors, honors is true. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect, the 144,000 men pushing this truth in wholehearted, sincere across the four winds. It's the Akai Kwab with another lesson from the JMS Germany camp. And um, let's get right into it. You know, this work that we do. It is important. Going against the grain, preaching and prophesying, making videos, doing YouTube videos, whatever videos that you can. It's important. Why is it important? Because you have been tasked with a, a mighty job, a mighty uh, profession preaching and prophesying the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, bringing the truth out in a world full of wickedness and deceit. It's important because without us, how would they elect to get saved or get awakened? How would Israel come back into their nationality? Without us, Without the elders, the elders and apostle uh, Tahar, Aramlab, Gabar, Rakah, and trickling on down from all the men that followed them for all the years and, and brought this word out all over the internet. Without them, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't understand the truth. Without the internet, I wouldn't have known the truth and many other brothers just like me, all over the world have found this truth through the internet. So this work that we do, it is important. But you're gonna be hated. You're gonna be ridiculed. You're gonna be labeled. Conspiracy theorist. This is second Peter, I mean first Peter chapter one and I mean chapter five and verse one. The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Verse two, feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Neither Verse three, neither as being lords over the most high's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. Okay, so let me stop right there. So, let's go back to one, all right? The elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach. So Peter witnessed the sufferings of Yahushai. He witnessed what Yahushai went through on the earth. Okay? And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. The glory that shall be revealed is that we are we are the children of the Most High. He's going to give us powers over these nations. He's going to show us that we are loved and that all nations are beneath us. The glory, the kingdom of heaven. Verse 2, feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you. They're all around us, man. Israel is scattered onto four nations. I mean, I said unto, the, unto all nations of the four corners of the earth. They are among us. 
And when you try to preach this word to them and try to snatch them out of this world, world, they fight to the point where it's frustrating. You know, it's, it's, it's mentally straining to see how much these people love simplicity, love their oppressor, love the lies and the deceit. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. Okay, so taking the, 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 you are taking responsibility for the flock, but not by constraint like you are being held, like a gun is being held to your head. But willingly, you willingly take control of the flock and uh, uh, the, you willingly pick up the, the, the cross and you carry it and you, you, you fight through all the lies and the deceit. Not a filthy lucre, not for money, not for fame, not for being ple pleasant in the eyes of men and women. He do this to please the most high because he picked you out of all the men on this earth. but of a ready mind, a ready and willing mind, using your heart, which is your mind, to do this work. Neither as being lords over the most highest heritage, not because you are, you have power or, or you've been given something above the most high, I mean, uh, the most highest children, but unsamples unto the flock, being an example of how we should live and strive for righteousness and no sea of wickedness. We swim every day in the sea of wickedness, man. But we as the men of the Lord, who, who he's chosen to wash our mentality, our minds of all the wickedness, to pull back the veil of confusion away from our eyes, to give us the heart of faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We swim in that wickedness and we try to grab as many brothers and sisters with us to get up on our, our boat or canoe or whatever we have in this sea of wickedness. To be an, ex an example. When I first came into this truth, I was telling everybody that they're wicked for this and wicked for that. And I still didn't know how to, I, did, I hadn't understood that you're not supposed to shave your beard. And then I came across it. And I told someone that you're not supposed to shave your beard. And later on down the line, they used that, that against me. Well, you sinning every day because you're still shaving your beard. So I stopped. And I have to be an example I have to be an example. I have to walk the walk. I have to preach. Whatever I preach, I have to live it. You preach faith, you have to have faith. You preach your Shai, you have to show that you love your Shai. You preach your Hawa, you got to show that you love your Hawa. You have to turn away from carnality and turn away from this world and, and, and be spiritual. Hebrews 11 and 1 tells us faith is the things of things is a, is the hope of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. We don't see Yahweh shine. We don't see Yahweh. But we see his beautiful creation. We see the spirits that he's put on us. We see the mannerisms of the men of the Lord. The ones who are willing to go against the grain through everything and lose everything to prove that these scriptures are true. And that we are the chosen people of Israel. And that we have had our nationality stolen because we're being punished. Verse 4. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. You see? That crown of glory that fadeth not away. 
That's what we, 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 we have that's promised unto us for doing this work, for sacrificing the time and the, and the everything, man. Your family, your children, your job, your money, everything. You sacrifice everything for this truth because you're going to lose it one way or the other. You know, I had a saying in the, when I was in the military that the military takes everything that you love away from you. <laughs> this, this love right here for you, Howard Shine, you're going to lose everything you love. But if you look in your life and you look at the things that you've gone through before you came into this truth, the Lord prepared you for this. He prepared you mentally and physically for this truth. He's not going to give anything to you that you cannot handle. And if it seems to be so great, then how much greater are you to handle that? Let's go to John chapter 6 and verse 27. This is chapter, this is John chapter 6 and verse 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath the Most High, the Father sealed. Labor not for the meat which perisheth for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. This is what we're doing this for, for everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven. To be immortal men and rulers of the nations. <laughs> Do you know what that means? To be a king over nations. <laughs> ah man it's a beautiful thing but it won't come easy it's not going to come easy we have to prove to the Lord that we deserve it that we want it First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 31. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all in the glory of the Most High. Okay? So everything that we've done, everything that we do, we do all in the glory of the Most High because this is His show. This work is, is done to be done in the glory of him feeding his flock waking up the hopeful elect is all to be done to do what give the most high praise show his power through our faith let's go to jeremiah Chapter 23, verse 4. And I will set shepherds up over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And I will set, let's read it again. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. And how can we feed them? With this word. With this wisdom and knowledge and understanding that the Lord has blessed our hearts with. With his faith. With being an, an example. Not, not as do as I say, not as I do. 
but do as I say and as I do. It's not having a double standard. Double standard said meaning do as I say and not as I do. Go to uh, John chapter 21 and verse 17. Let's start at, uh, let's start at 13. Yeah, how a shy cometh and taketh bread and giveth them and fish likewise. Verse 14, now this is the third time that Yahweh Shai showed himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the, from the dead. Verse 15, so when they had died, Yahweh Shai said unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. Verse 16. He saith unto him, to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Verse 17. He saith unto him a third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him a third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. <laughs> These scriptures are given unto us for an example to teach us in these days, to guide us, to give us strength, to give us understanding. And from what I show, what I read here, Yahweh Shai was telling Simon Peter that it's very important to do this work. Yahweh Shai emphasized three times unto him, do this work, feed my lambs. Okay. Why would he say it three times? Because he knew that this is important. The Lord is showing Simon Peter. He's showing him that this is important. This is this is something that has to be done. And it shouldn't be taken lightly. It should be done with care and diligence. And it's not going to be easy. When you come into this truth, the scriptures say, prepare thyself for temptation when thou comest to serve the Lord. So, <laughs> this is not going to be easy. But through your faith, you manifest your works. And through your works, you prove to the lambs that you love Yahweh Shai. You're an example unto the lambs, unto the sheep, unto the flock of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Re refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears. For thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. <laughs> Jeremiah. 
So the Lord is saying, refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears. For thy work shall be rewarded. The things that you have done is going to be rewarded. Proverbs 15 and 3 tells us the eyes of the Lord are in, in every place beholding the good and the evil. So he knows everything. Just like Peter said, thou knowest <laughs> all things. So he sees what you've done. And you're going to be rewarded for that sacrifice. You're going to be rewarded for the things that you put into this work. Because that is how you show your faith and your love for your Hashem Yahushai. By doing what he said to do. Until next time, Shalom.